A new housing complex for adults with autism has opened in Dennis. With nearly seven years of planning and 10 months of construction, the group Friends or Relatives with Autism and Related Disabilities, or FORWARD, has completed their project called FORWARD at the Rock. We are a 501c3 nonprofit, a small group of individuals who have been working together for nearly seven years now, about six and a half years, to build these two homes on town donated land in Dennis. We um, realized early on, our research showed us that up to 80% of uh, adults with autism live at home with aging parents with little or no plan for what happens when their uh, families are no longer able to take care of them. So that's sort of how this started. The land was donated by the town of Dennis, and it was with the help of many other towns across Cape Cod, fundraising events, and generous donations that there was money available to build the houses. We have spent all this time um, working with the Town of Dennis and Housing Assistance Corps as our consultant. Um, Cape Associates has been our builder, and with Capabilities, the um, agency for folks with developmental disabilities who is operating the home and providing the staffing. And we've, all, and we've spent all this time raising money um, two and a half million dollars so far to um, to fund the, the building. Um, and uh, more than a million dollars of that funding has come from uh, Community Preservation Act funding from six towns on the Cape, Dennis, Barnstable, Yarmouth, Chatham, Brewster, and Mashpee. Despite the pandemic, construction wasn't impacted. Now the eight residents are moved in and enjoying the new space. We're just thrilled that despite a worldwide pandemic, um, Cape Associates was able to um, build this project, these two homes on time and on budget, and that we were able to work with the department and capabilities to you know, move eight people into these new residences. The, the buildings are beautiful. Um, everything's brand new. There's a lot of adaptive um, things in the kitchen and in the hallways with light, you know, um, uh, um, closet doors that the lights come on when you open them and they shut when they go off. You don't need to flick a switch or um, there's lots of things in the kitchen. So the houses are, are brand new, all on one floor. Will there be more housing like this available on Cape Cod? Those involved with Ford at the Rock are hopeful for the future. It's, I mean, it was clear to me as soon as I joined that there was a, a, a huge need across the Cape for this type of housing and additional housing for um, people with various disabilities. We as an organization, and certainly I am committed to making sure that we forward build more of this housing. So it's a matter now of really just kind of figuring out what's needed most, what's, what's reasonable, what's fundable. But I think you will see us be doing more in the future. For more information, visit go-forward.org. For Cape Media News, I'm Emily Tellick.